Okay, so Cody, I, I, I had I, I was on this show uh, yesterday, and he had been making some tweets lately. Right. I want to get like you know like your your, your take on it, Cody, and Tubi is compared to Vince. Right. But you know, like this every every day. Why? Let me ask you a question. Why are you so critical of Cody Rhodes? You know, as I understand this constructive criticism, but you you you're like putting a lot of negative metrics on him for a lot of reasons, which I think are kind of petty. When he's when he's performing well numbers wise. What do you mean negative metrics? I'm I, I what, what what are you talking about, Glenn? Well, I'm just saying he's he's like he's over. You know, like like you're 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 being. But I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not putting any negative metrics out there about him. Well, I'm not it, I'm not it, saying they're not it, drawing it, because it, of Cody no, or no, not no, like no, that. No. I'm saying if your criticism could be formulated in metrics, they would be in the negative. Because you, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> Like your opinions are, you have some negative opinions of of, of uh, the thing. First, first, I want to know is what's wrong. And then, you know, this is the first thing I think. What's wrong with him wearing a suit? Well, what do you have to do with that? Everything that a suit represents to the average guy. That that's what's he he's he heels wear suits. Cody Cody goes out there every time and he says, "Look at me, I, I I've got money." Bro, t- uh, what you call Michael Cole said it all last week's show. Oh, look, there's there's Cody kicking with thousand dollar shoes. Bro, who in that audience and who watching this show has a thousand dollar owns thousand dollar shoes? And if you know somebody that owns a pair of thousand dollar shoes, bro, you probably don't like that person because who buys shoes that cost a thousand dollars? He goes I- out there. He goes out there, bro. Like I am money. And then on top of that, he uses a vocabulary that's above the heads of a lot of people. All that I'm saying, bro, is he's a he's a water pie deal. Whoa, what was that coming up? Wait one minute. Wait one minute. Sounds like you have an attack. Oh, well, let's go. That's all, a, all, all, all I'm saying. What if, if what he, if we saw what he, if we saw like a bleeding Mexican guy running away and one of the yeah, dogs right. fighting his. Like it's up. <laughs> if he were a heel, I'd probably be a fan of the guy. But he's he's not a baby fan. He's not a likable guy to a casual fan. I. But you know, let me tell you, uh, um, Vince. So when I look at Cody, Vince, I always think, why would anybody cheer this guy? Because he reminds me of like a used car salesman, politician, TV evangelist. Perfect teeth, the white hair, the suit, just looks very disingenuous at first thing, right? But somehow this went over there and got over. He's super over, right? But when I see somebody in a suit, I don't really think, well, why? First of all, if you have a lot of money, who buys thousand dollar shoes? The guy that has a lot of money. Cody has a lot of money. The Rock has a lot of money. Roman has a lot of money, and people know that. So I don't think when they see people in a suit, they're like, "Well, he's not one of us." It's like, "All right, this guy made it, and he's got money, and he's buying, you know, you know, fancy clothes and suits and shoes and that." You know what I'm saying? I, so I don't I think it, been, I don't I think that, I, and I think I, that a lot of people look at that as aspirational. I want to be like that one day. Uh, I literally just thought of something in the writers were having this conversation. Right. Okay, when well, you talked about the used car sale. He does. Bro, don't look at me. And you say, Vince, you're saying like he doesn't have any, like he, he, that does not connect with the fair. Bro, right. Cody is not over. Wait, let me, just, no, let me just make this statement. Cody is not over with casual fans. Cody I, is I over with the Mark fan base, not casual fans like me. Yeah, I'm telling you, Glenn, he's not okay. over. Let me, let me tell you this, and I want to tell you this. E- everybody I, who is a, a Russo brand member, they want to see The Rock kiss, kick this guy's ass. He's not over to the casual fan base, bro. I would disagree because they've been, they've been, the numbers going into this. Bro, he's always got the, the biggest pop on the show. I don't know. Bro, how he's, he's over to the watch that. Mark fan base. That's bro, but, what he's but, over no, 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 no. And he it, sold the no, mer- most no, merch. I Remember that. Yeah. I know. You have to. You're, you're arguing against yourself here. Okay? Because we've been talking about the casual fan the casual, you know, the casual, like the wrestling that draws casual. You know what, though? WWE has drawn the casual fan. You know how I know they draw the casual fan? Because for three, four, five, six, seven years, they were going to, they were working at like 60% capacity at their, at their, at their shows, their TVs. 
Now the capacity is increased by like 40% and they're selling out on a regular basis. Where do you think those fans came from? That was not the fit of the fans that already existed because we know who they were because they were drawing specific, you know, like consistent numbers for a long time. And all of a sudden they're selling out, bro. They've gotten the casual fan back through social media interactions, different things. That that's the people that are filling the arenas, not the not the just just the marks because the marks we knew what the mark audience was before that. That was the people that were showing okay, up. Okay, Glenn, but maybe the mark audience just wasn't going to the live events. They could have been at home watching on TV, and and now maybe they're more interested, so maybe more of them are going to live events. You That's can't make the assumption that their casual fans are going to live where, events. Where do you do? Where do the uh, where are these fans coming from? Then they have their fan base, but we've seen it for years. One point seven million, whatever it is, into sixty you know, arena six sixty percent full. Now it's they're sold out. Well, who filled those other forty percent of the seats? The, the other Smart marks? We know who the smart marks are. They filled up 60% of the arena. That's all. That's the smart mark audience. The 40% others you, are the people that have gotten interested again. Bro, if you think that half of the people attending WWE shows are casual fans, you're out of your mind, bro. They, 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 got, they got two sets of fans, bro. Let me tell you who the okay. two sets of fans are. They got the hardcore wrestling fan marks. That's who they got. And they got the, they got the kids that one and their parents have to take them to the show exactly. that's their audience bro exactly. that's it but bro i have a 15 year record of why of following this metric okay in my club because everybody always comes to me when wwe comes to town because they hey can you get me tickets all right for a long period of time like for the when i first moved here people hey can you get tickets and then the, the long period of time people didn't even know they were in town didn't know they get tickets the last few years, everybody comes to me. Hey, WWE's coming to town. Can I get tickets? WWE's here. These are the casual fans. They don't even watch the show. They just know that when it's coming to town, if the show's hot, they'll go. That that's literally people that that I a group of people a, a target a, a a demographic that I have monitored and examined that will feed into the into that metric. One hundred percent, those fans are interested in going to the shows now, and they don't watch. They don't even watch the show. That's a, that's that's how you can tell you know, you're truly uh, drawing the casual fan. I have a question for you because me and Disco were debating this, and we see opposite sides of this. So when uh, I'm a huge Rock fan, and I'm and I'm assuming that you think Rock should have wrestled Roman right instead of Cody, because I, I I agree with you there, one thousand right? percent. Yes, right. So and it's really ridiculous to me. Not ridiculous. It's kind of astonishing with all the good wrestling that Conrad and Dave LaGreca have seen in their life that there's such huge Cody fans. I'm like, what do you see in him? You know, right. like, yeah, to me, I, I'm like Team Rock, right? But I accept that Cody's over and I don't. Oh, that was. Uh... But my question is, is this, that when he was on, I'm a big, I'm very picky on this. When Rock showed up on SmackDown in uh, Memphis, I just thought it doesn't help matters any, and I'd like to hear your viewpoint on this. When he comes out, supposed to be a heel, and girls are screaming, we love you, Rock, and he's like, yeah, I love you too, baby, and yeah, I'm back home, you know, and people are like, he's kind of like a baby face, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Disco goes, yeah, but at the end he turned it to a heel. Yeah, but he he didn't have to be a baby face, you know? You're either a heel, but you're not half a heel, you know? And, and so I just wanted to see what you thought. About I, I, I think Conan, went, bro, he, I, I think when you have Rock on the show, right, he exposes everybody else because The Rock is a bona fide star. Right. So this is, this is what Glenn doesn't understand. I'm sitting there, I'm watching SmackDown. Conan, you know, you, you've done it. He's got the crowd in the palm of his hand. Right. If he wants to turn them babyface, he can turn them babyface. If he wants them to boo him, he can do that. He owns that crowd. Owns right. it, bro. Then you go to Raw and you got Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes in the ring cutting promos about you got a small Dwayne diarrhea. They look like amateurs, bro. Amateurs. Glenn doesn't understand. 
the wrestling marks like Dave LaGreca. They've decided. Let me finish. finish. They've decided Cody is their guy. The marks have made that decision. This is our guy, and we're going to sing along with him, and we're going to be behind him, and we're going to support him. The average person wants The Rock to kick this crybaby's ass, bro. That's a fact. I, I'm going to disagree with you. Okay. Let, me tell you let, me, right. let me tell you why. Let okay. me tell you why, okay? And I know the Marks have chosen this guy, but, but dude, it's like how can you argue against the fact that he's the first the top baby face that they've anointed? In the past 15 years, that doesn't get booed out of the building when he comes out. They booed John Cena, the top babyface, for years. They booed Roman Reigns, the top babyface, for years. And now they cheer Cody Rose, the top babyface, for years. He's super over. And somehow, now we want to, we have to criticize that because, like, oh, but why? Because he's, he's not getting booed out of the building because you think he's acting like a heel? That he should be a heel, bro. I'm not. Dude, criti- it's like I'm, it's very I'm, sim- I'm, what, what am it's I? Very cri- simple to write what, TV with Cody Rhodes. What am I? Huge. What am I? Right? What am I criticizing? I'm saying that the casual fan wants Rock to kick this guy's. Wh- where's the I'm, criticism in that? I'm well, what sure I, what I wanted sure entirely true. Well, what I wanted, Russo, was that. Uh, and I told this uh, the other day. Um, what's more interesting to you? Right? Cody finally finishing his story on this triple and this WrestleMania, or Rock, who's actually a blood relative of Roman, who actually had started because everybody says, oh, he inserted himself into this right now. No, we've been trying to do this for years, including last year, but he wasn't available. He just didn't come up with this idea all of a sudden, like everybody's saying he did. Right. 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 And we don't know if we're going to be able to use them again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And plus you have, and I would love to have seen off and seek and Rikisha. Me too. Like choosing sides. That to me is way more interesting than Cody finishing his story. And guess what? He can finish it next year. You know, I think you'll see all or most of those guys on the way to we're at WrestleMania. Conan. I would be more interested in. I think you're going to see them all. Yeah. Versus the Brooklyn brawler, Steve Lombardi (laughs) because of the Italian bloodline. You know what I compare this to? Here's, I'm going to make this such an easy analogy. Yeah, right. sum it up because we're going to talk about Otani for a couple of Yeah, years. real quick. Conan, listen, we got two sides here. That's what I'm talking about. You got your marks, you know, right. and, and you got your casual fans. Right. Now, bro, the marks are on the side of two guys that were, when they were in high school, they were the nerds. Right. They were sitting alone at a table. They were eating apple slices out of their lunchbox and, you know, milk out of their thermos. Right. That's who the that's who the marks are in 2024. And these are the two people there behind. Right. All of a sudden, Conan, you you hear a you know, there's a you know, there's a big disturbance and there's a big hush over the crowd. And who who's walking in the cafeteria? The varsity quarterback and the varsity running back, and they're being followed by every hot cheerleader, bro. And they're the two guys that everybody wants to be. Bro, that's the side the casual fans are on. The casual fans are on the side of Roman, and they're not on the side of the geek. Seth Rollins it's is the geek. The nerds movie, the nerds you know, you know what I like to call them, Conan? The, the, the crier and the whiner. That, that's what they should call their tag teams. And, bro, there ain't no casual fan like me who is on the side of the whiner and the crier, bro. Zero. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, Thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.